Did this woman poison her ex-in-laws? It reads like we're beginning a true crime podcast, yes. to be honest. Back in July, an Australian woman had two sets of couples, including her ex-husband's parents, over for a dinner party where she served them beef wellington. But then less than a week later, three of the four guests ended up dead, and one was in the hospital in critical condition, while the host of the gathering remained mysteriously fine. So police suspect that the guests had likely eaten a death cap mushroom, one of the deadliest species on earth. The host defended herself saying she brought normal, she bought normal button mushrooms from a local supermarket chain and some dried ones from an Asian grocery store. But the Australian Mushroom Growers Association has pushed back on that narrative saying that death caps only grow in the wild, so she couldn't have bought them at any grocery store. So, Neil, details are still emerging from this case that we'll get into in a bit, but what did you make of this mushroom mystery? <laughs> this, I, you mentioned it, like, if a podcast does not start about this in, you know, a couple of days, then I will be very surprised. <laughs> it sparked a huge media frenzy in Australia. I mean, there is all of the elements of just this thriller where it's a small town and everyone knows each other and you have a woman that, you know, fed them <laughs> freaking poisonous mushrooms, potentially is denying it. There's an estranged husband in the mix that fell mysteriously ill last year. So this is kind of all the in ingredients for something that is going to spark this a media firestorm over there. And, you know, all of the police and she is saying, like, leave us alone. Journalists, stop calling. Uh, but you can't, you know, you as a person, you just can't help but be interested in trying to solve yeah. this mystery. The, the sensationalist detail that recently emerged is that she amended one of her previous statements that saying that she actually had thrown out a food dehydrator to a dump right after she served them lunch. And that is because her ex-husband texts her, is that what you used to poison them? And so she, her narrative is that she panicked and said, oh my gosh, they might take my kids away if like they find mm -hmm. this food dehydrator. So she threw it away in a dump. But a lot of people are using that as like a detail to uh, say that she is guilty. But yeah, Neil, just out of curiosity, and since this is a business podcast, how big do you think the global mushroom market is? According <laughs> to a report I found- I was not the, expecting it. I know, the business street. I was just curious, like yeah. how, how many mushrooms are selling? So in, in terms of billions, how big do you think it is? Um, I'll say, I'm going to go out. So if an underwear brand is valued <laughs> at 200 million, I will say- Mushrooms. I don't think the mushroom, I don't think, well, you know what? In Asia, I think they eat a lot of mushrooms. So I will say $24 billion. $62 billion okay. in 2023. And it's growing at an annual growth rate of 9.2%. So shout out to Kennett Square, Pennsylvania, which is the mushroom capital of the United States. <laughs> they love their mushrooms there. You walk down downtown and it's just mushroom restaurant after mushroom restaurant. You have some ridiculous shout outs. I mean, outs Emily sometimes. knows what I'm talking yeah. about in the control room right I, now. I, and you know what's the worst part is someone is going to be from the place you Oh, yeah. It's like a, people know in, in Eastern Pennsylvania, people know Kennett Square is the mushroom capital. But that's not the only crazy thing that happened with mushrooms this week in the economic world. Uh, Janet Yellen, while on a recent trip to China, supposedly ate magic mushrooms, like hallucinogenic mushrooms, at a restaurant there in China as part of this famous dish at this Yunnanese restaurant. And uh, she was just interviewed on CNN and she was talking about the experience. And she said, I didn't know that they were hallucinogenic at the time. And me and my buddies there, we didn't trip or anything. Yeah. But, and, but apparently it has gone viral on social media in China and it's led to a huge sales boom for this restaurant. Hey, thanks for watching. And if you want more Morning Brew Daily, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And also check out the rest of our episodes wherever you get your podcasts. New episodes drop at 7 a.m. Eastern, Monday through Friday. And you can email us at morningbrewdaily at morningbrew.com.